you said that you got like uh, a lot of people like fucked with you or talk shit to you growing up and shit being like the only white boy in a lot of your areas yeah um so especially you, in st paul yeah and like you know the, the, the ufc like shit talkers in a sense people who can hold their own yeah so did that make you like a good shit talker at all it definitely made me better yeah. because when i went out there i was like fuck is everybody's problem you yeah, know yeah. and and they're you know just people out there are just witty bro like if you if you if you said one stupid thing like you're getting fucking roasted yeah and they're not gonna let you go so like, you probably got a couple good one liners. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> and and they'll bring it back up. And then you and then you'll get a and then you'll get some dumbass nickname for it. And and, and then it just becomes your identity. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I feel like, that. fucking what the god damn it. Like I wish I could ah <laughs> wish I could t- turn back the hands of time. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's how you know that's how people get people get nicknames out there and then you're known as that. And uh, definitely makes you makes you sharp and quick. Yeah, right. Like, Manny was always like super quick. He but, was. Yeah, super, like, super quick. Your homie who showed you the ropes, or maybe he, he gave you some good shit talking. Yeah, he did. I still use I still use some shit that he said for sure. Yeah, all right, my brother. Well, I appreciate it. Man. I appreciate you too. Thank you for the time, my dog. And but, yeah. good luck on June 10th at UFC 288. 289. 289. My bad. 289.